because the number of MMORPG fans is always increasing day by day. It totally affects the game's developer who create a new MMORPG on mobile that is playable to play right now. But let me tell you something, not all of the new MMOs are good, but it depends on the player's preference. In this video, we will represent the new game MMO which has been released globally that you need to watch the video before downloading the game. Remember to like this video to support us. Thanks. Top 10 best global release MMORPG games for mobile available on any server. You can support this channel and send us a special thanks. Night Crows. Night Crows. This is the best example for the game's developer who want to create the best MMORPG games for mobile. The main reason is this MMO was made by the most powerful engine which is Unreal Engine 5. But the developer successfully delivered this graphic into a beautiful creation of visual and really playable for mid-range spoons. Even if we make the setting become maximum, I love how far the view distance is really unbelievably perfect. The combat mechanism seems like a line edge too and we can do an auto quest and auto play by tapping the main mission icon. It has fully ragdoll PC in every combat. Each time we land a hit into the enemy, the reaction of the enemy is really unreal. It will give the player a satisfying visual effect to play. When we unleash the skill, it's not a flashy at all which makes the game getting real realistic and casual. While we are at the village, you will be amazed at how many players are active in playing this game. Night Crows is the best new MMORPG games for Android iOS and has an English version and has been released globally. Cyber Realm Cyber Realm. The first time I play it, I realized how many PH players playing it. Their numbers are way too dominant on any server, especially when we see on the world chat message. Seriously, the game is totally unbelievable. Look at how many of the players are playing the game. And surprisingly, the game's graphic can handle it perfectly, which I assumed if this MMORPG is good for low-end to mid-range spawns. But there is the main reason why this game gets a lower score on Play Store, because because the connection is not stable. But overall, I love how the game ambience of Cyber Realm has a cyberpunk and futuristic sci-fi design on the character appearance. The storyline of the game prologue is pretty simple. We need to defend the Earth from the alien invasion. The number of the enemy respawn is so massive, so we can easily green the characters easily by doing an auto. In the game, we can reach a higher level in the flex because every quest will give a huge reward of EXP. Cyber Realm is the best new MMORPG for Android iOS that playable for mid-level devices. CityCat Fantasy CityCat Fantasy. This game is on early access. For sure, it will release on global. But even the game is on early access, but the developer has released the server in a massive number. It's been more than 10 servers has released. The gameplay of this game is absolutely fantastic. I feel like playing a Legend of Neverland in a light version, even the character's design and how the ambience around is really green and seems like a Genshin Impact in a lighter version. I realize the developer update the game in many aspects. The frame rate and also the game storyline has been added. So right now we can join the dungeon to raid to get a rare equipment. The combat mechanism of City Cat Fantasy is we can learn a new skill when we reach a certain level. There is a SR pet given to us freely and able to unleash his skill to dealing a damage. Ride a pet is possible to explore the world faster. Even if the area is quite small though, overall I would rate it for 8 to 10 for the graphic and how the developer tries to manage the game into a mid-range spawn level. Best anime MMORPG games for Android iOS. Lord of Dragons Lord of Dragons. Right now, this game is on beta testing, but the beta is for global players, which all players around the world are able to play it right now. But we should get the game on his official website to download the game. This MMORPG only has one server now, and it will expand when the game officially released globally then. The gameplay of Lord of Dragon is really attractive. I love how this MMORPG has a different weapon system. Basically, we will start 
picking a hero between male or female. We don't need to pick a job classes because every player is able to change their main equipment of three different weapons, which are dual sword, sword and shield, and great sword. Each time we switch the weapon, then our main skill will be adjusted based on the weapon we are holding on. Anyway, this is a great trick for us on unleashing the skill continuously because the skills cooldown will be reset on each weapon. The game has an auto hunt for the mission as well as the monster. In the future, the developer will develop the NFT project and it will become a play-to-earn game MMORPG for Android iOS, the best MMORPG games for mobile. Soul of Ring Revive Soul of Ring Revive Dear developer, you need to slow down on managing the game server. Just imagine this game is just a new release MMORPG with a high score which is 4.6 stars and downloaded over 100,000 players. But the developer has launched more than 300 servers. Honestly, this number is totally insane and crazy at the same time. Remember, don't try to milking the player who wants to enjoy the new MMO. I would try to be honest, so the game's MMORPG in the mobile industry will still be on the right track. I've tried on several servers and it seems most of the players are bots, not the actual players, because they all seem pretty passive and the way their movements are really clunky. Even I asked on the world chat message and they didn't even notice mine. We asked the player once a balanced MMORPG with no pay to win or even play to win friendly and it's fair for the players and also for the developer. Please tell me what is your opinion of this new MMO. In fact, Soul of Ring Revive has a great graphic instead. Sword of Mystic Sue. Sword of Mystic Sue. When you play this game, be ready to test your pawn how powerful your device can handle this game. Seriously, my pawn is getting a heater even when I set the game setting into mediums. No wonder this game is made by Unreal Engine 5 and still on early access, which means everything is on development, but surely the graphics are incredible. Sword of Mystic Shoe has a huge game size that will show us how wide the open world is. This is a new MMORPG with a high graphic game that has no autoplay. The mission is no autoplay and how the combat is no autoplay as well. Sometimes we should turn back and get into a further mission and it's taken a lot of time. Fortunately, we can run faster without spending any stamina. The combat mechanism is we can attack the enemy while moving and the heroes will have a realistic move movement of art style. The skill showcase is full of visual effect and the camera angle will be adjusted by itself to get a perfect vision. We'll play in Chinese theme vibes, the music, the character design, and how the building decoration is truly in Chinese. This is the best MMORPG no auto MMORPG games for Android iOS. Eternal Era Light and Dark Eternal Era Light and Dark Honestly, this MMORPG has a high potential to become the best new MMORPG games for Android iOS. Look at how the graphic and the games is really running well on mid-range devices. Even on low-end devices, it will perfectly work amazingly. The game visuals are very attractive. It started from the character selections. We can pick male and female characters, and the design will show us how the high-level armor will look. In the game, we are not alone in fighting because hatching the egg is possible to do to get a new pet. The pet will boost our strength significantly. So we are not only focusing on the character status but also we are focusing on the pet to strengthen our power. The combat is fully auto combat even we can leave the game and let our hero complete the mission by themselves. While exploring the world, we can jingle on the air to reach the area faster. Just like the other Chinese game, the developer is way too fast on releasing the server and it reached 77 server already. I think most of the players on the server are not the actual players but bots. This is the best new game open world MMORPG game for Android iOS. Moonlight Blade Moonlight Blade 
I realize Chinese game developer have expanded their game into the mobile market massively. But of course, by this game, we have seen the amazing graphic and how great they put a lot of effort through Moonlight Blade. It's not about the combat only, but I get a great experience in a storyline based game. The story is driven perfectly by the voiceover and how the visual cutscenes will always show us how to describe the characteristic of the hero. I love how the combat mechanism, this MMORPG lets the player unleash the skill continuously without costing any stamina. As long as the skill's cooldown is ready, then we can unleash it frequently. On exploring the world, seriously, we don't need any amount because we can fly on the sky by jumping multiple times and reach a further area or jumping to reach a higher build or cliff. Such a satisfying experience we have. You need a high pawn spec to enjoy the game's graphic into a maximum setting. This is the best role-playing game multiplayer for Android iOS. ROM ROM, Remember of Majesty I don't know exactly if this kind of game will exist longer on the mobile market. In fact, the game's perspective is only able to see from a top-down angle. I prefer to play a MMORPG that is fully 360 degree, so we can clearly see the environment from a different visual. Even though this is a new MMORPG game, but the game is getting quiet quickly. There is so many reasons why it happened in my opinions. It's because the combat mechanism is very clunky. The graphics are not optimized well, which make the pawn hit faster when we set into the maximum setting. Then it will cause a laggy issues. But the main reason is the camera point of view, of course. The game has fully auto mission and also auto combat, even we can skip every tutorial and skip the storyline when we are having a conversation with the NPC. But the one thing I only love to see is how the hero's armor looks. It is so shiny and really detailed. Dear developer, please make a MMORPG with a worthy gameplay and look better from the player's perspective. Loss. Fairyland and down. Lost. Fairyland and down. Finally, we have a MMORPG with a small size that was made by a Chinese games developer. The game size is only 579 MB, but the game's quality is higher than the other games on the same size. We will have a lot of characters, job selections, it's about 8 different classes, with a variety of the weapon it has. The combat mechanism is fully auto. If you love to play MMORPG with a VIP based game, then this game would be great for you because we'll get free VIP when we reach level 100. Basically, we can boost the hero's strength significantly by spending some diamonds. At the beginning, we'll freely get horses as the mount. It will help us explore the world of Lost Fairyland and Dawn faster. Most of the main mission is killing a lot of enemies in a massive number. Don't expect no auto combat because from the beginning, we will do every single mission by an auto. Once again, is this kind of MM MMORPG worth playing right now? Please write in the comments below. Ether Spire Bonus Ether Spire MMORPG I'm sure the player would feel so surprised if they see how the players reach level 100 plus plus. It means there are so many loyal players who are still playing this game until now. This game has a casual gameplay mechanism. We don't need to focus on the PvP, same as the Toram Online. We are focusing on upgrading the equipment and making their looks become shiny and better. I love the mechanism when we finish the combat and leave the fight, then our HP will recover automatically. It will save our goal to buy HP potions and also make us easier on grinding on the monster, so we don't need to go back into the village. The game has no autoplay at all, the mission and also the skills should tap manually. This all is the best new MMORPG game you need to play or at least you need to know before you download the game. Thanks for watching the best global release MMORPG games for mobile that is available on any server, which some of them are on early access but surely will release globally. Please help this video get 200 likes. Thanks!